Hi, today I would like to talk to you about fuses. Two days ago I was in Hamburg, Germany and I visited the world's largest energy and wind fair. All about windmills and wind energy. It, it was very exciting and I met a lot of interesting people. And I also met people that dealt with fuses because of course we need to protect both our wires and devices we connect up to our electricity. So today I would like to show you one of these medium large fuses. This is from a company called Shiba. I'll post some links in the description as well. This is a 400 amp knife fuse. It's called the knife fuse at least here in Denmark. Uh, it's called a knife fuse because it has these two blades. They're not sharp or anything, you can't get caught on them. And when you look down on top they look like a bolt. That's because they are meant to be uh, pushed into a placeholder where the power is always on. And a word of warning, if you're not an electrician or know what you're doing, you shouldn't be messing around with these because even though uh, you might have a blown fuse when it's hooked in the power is still on in one of these ends and people that are replacing these actually wear protective gear both gloves and something on the face and they got a tool that can grab this and push it in and pull it out safely these are very clever because normal fuses just have a wire and you can determine how how long before the fuse is blown depending on the amount of energy sending through it and the same can you with these but this is a 400 amp rated fuse so it's quite big normally in a house you have something like 10 to 16 amps and factories run maybe 64 amps so, so you can see this is something meant for a substation or something like that. It's made in Germany by Sieber and uh, it feels quite robust and uh, I think it's nice just to get a hold of these and instead of just uh, talk about how they might look or calculating on them because that's what we do mostly. We just sit and calculate and we just write 400 amps as if it's nothing. Uh, this one is special because it's open, so we can see inside. And uh, when we look inside, it's clear to see there's different rows of uh, holes. And uh, the center ones are clearly the smallest ones. So when we are going to exceed the temperature that this metal can handle, it's simply going to melt over these points. And uh, when that happens, Usually a arc is generated and it will arc across instead, but the arc will generate even more heat. So eventually it's going to the next set of holes on both sides and if there's still an arc, it will go through the third set. And if the third set is broken, there shouldn't be able to be any arc because then we are working with the wrong voltages for this device or fuse, sorry. And you can see there's two plates, there's one on top and one on bottom. So that's a very, uh, very impressive and interesting fuse compared to normal fuses. So it's not what you usually expect when you see a fuse. Um, I'm not sure how much more I have to say about this, except it's a very impressive device. And uh, it's very rare to get to handle these. Uh, unless of course you work with these and actually not that many people do so I just thought I'd share how it looks how it feels and uh, I'm quite impressed I think it's a great fuse and uh, it looks great please consider subscribing and uh, I'll bring much more interesting content in the future on this new channel uh, of course, both not only electrical, but all sorts of uh, things. Thanks for watching and give a thumbs up if you like.